Oh dear, it seems that even Ian Blackford can see the writing on the wall. Despite all the bluster and the barrage of propaganda that comes our way on a regular basis, even Blackford now is considering not standing in the next election to avoid the humiliation of defeat. The humble crofter, the millionaire banker in reality, has realised that he's not got much of a chance of winning his seat back, despite the fact, again, that we are told by useless Yusuf and Cranky that the party's finances have never been stronger. We are in such a great position to get independence in the next couple of years, bollocks. You're all going to lose your seats. You're in for one hell of a kicking. And people who have the ego of, like, of people like Ian Blackford simply cannot take the fact that they are going to lose out in the popular vote. The public don't want them. You could have put a pet parakeet in some of these seats in Scotland and the public would have voted SNP because at one time the strength of feeling towards a referendum and towards leaving the UK was fairly strong, let's be honest, but it was never strong enough to take Scotland out of the UK. It's like putting a Labour candidate in Liverpool. Anybody could win it. It's not a challenge and it doesn't make you a decent politician or a good speaker. It doesn't even necessarily make you popular. It just means that you represent what a few people believe in and that's the only reason you got your seat but now people have seen sense off you go Blackford I hope we never hear from you ever again